In the landscape of mobile connectivity, something is changing. Digital signal transmissions run from one user to another at ever higher data rates. And that's not all. Besides spoken communication, systems need to transmit video and other high-density data. New technologies like LTE, which stands for long-term evolution, will provide for these requirements in the near future. What does all this imply for the hardware in and around base stations? Traditionally, radio frequency transmission signals were generated at ground level. One of the disadvantages of this technology is the high losses of the radio frequency signal when being transported up into the antenna. Even power backup systems had to be substantial in order to keep the network running in case of power supply failure. Present day equipment will switch over to a much greener solution. A miniature version radio frequency transmitter is placed in the top of the mast. One so-called remote radio head per antenna provides for the most economical solution and the bulky loss generating RF cabling can now be replaced by a lightweight duplex fiber optical outdoor cable. Low voltage DC power and in some cases Ethernet signaling are also routed separately to these advanced, compact, remote radio heads. At ground level, much smaller base stations will be needed, subsequently supported by much smaller and less costly power backup units. Connecting fiber optics, DC power and an RJ45 in the field now becomes a challenge. Today, our technician Alex is about to connect a newly installed remote radio head. He can climb up without tools for the simple reason that he won't be needing them. The full access system works with an open bulkhead connector for easy connection and in case of the fiber optic solution, easy access to the SFP transceiver. Alex can connect all cabling by using just one hand while using his other hand to secure himself at the top of the ladder. Connecting the fiber optics is done in three easy steps. First, after having removed the dust caps from both the cable assembly and the bulkhead, he simply needs to connect the easy latching LC connector. Second, he has to attach the free floating inner connector part this free-floating feature prevents cable buckling. Last, he has to tighten the outer connector body on the bulkhead. While doing so, his hand will notice a positive mechanical feedback, indicating that the connection is now secure and watertight. For the connection of the Power ET and the RJ45-based versions, he will have to go through more or less identical sequences. Even when replacing or installing a new optical SFP transceiver, Alex can, without using any tools, simply retract the old SFP through the bulkhead opening and insert a new one. How simple can life be? Now, Alex knows that his job has been well done. No matter what the weather may be, the TE Connectivity Full Access Connector System will provide fully protected connections at all times.